show you the uh, sub filter again because it wasn't too clear on the last video. So the first section is bio balls, then it goes into sponges, and into more bio balls, more sponges, and it comes out of these two pipes and runs off into the pump. So there's an air stone in there, a heater in there, a blower. You can see the way that works now. Right, this is the first day. Uh, we went up to the crab traps of the day. We only got about 16 crab. Unfortunately, the storms put a stop to us going back up. So what I've done is put the 16 crabs into my tank. I can see two have popped there already, which are these two. So he's already popped out of his shelf, which is not what I wanted really. And I think he might have as well. Yeah. So I've had two that have popped during the night. And we'll find where they are. There he is. So he's popped and he's already going crispy. That's how quick they can change. So I'll put him to the side. And there's the other one, he's popped and he's already gone crispy, so they're actually no good to me, they might as well just get released. Another one's popped already. And what I do is I check the shells by squeezing the backs, when the backs start moving I peel them and freeze them. So what I do, I'll just put them in the counting tray for now and check every one of them. Good size crab. This is the thing with the tanks, it's you've got to check the tanks regularly when you've got the crab in them because you don't want to be see his back's just starting to go. So I'll keep him in the other tank on his own and check him a bit later on till the back starts lifted a bit more. And then he can go and get frozen down. That one, rock solid. He's soft, just starting to squeeze, so we'll check him a bit later on. Put him in the other tank. There's another one that's popped. It's a case of just keep keeping an eye on them. I tend to check them every 10 or 12 hours. And if I want to slow them down, I'll put them in the fridge in a tray and that will slow them right down and I can keep them and use them fresh. So there's only two that are ready to go now so all the ones that are hard can go back in. Well these three, so it's hard to show with the camera and it's such a taste, those three they popped, they're just going crispy so what I'll do, I'll just freeze them as they are, put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then backpack them and they'll do. They won't be my best crab but you can see the size of the crab we get, they're a really good sized crab. So they'll go off to the backpack now. Right so these three soft crabs that have popped, these go straight into my freezer. I'll put them on a pack of squid. With the backs off. And I'll leave them in there for about 10 minutes just to take the uh, juices up. And then I'll backpack them. Alright, so soft these were about 10 minutes of the freezer. They're not solid, they're just soft. Still soft. Get them inside a backpack bag. Inside a backpack bag, into the backpack machine. because they're partly frozen, I'm not losing any juices. 
juices are staying in the crab, they're not getting sucked out. I'll just give the bag another seal, just so it's got two seals. Go back in again. Just double seal the top of the bag. And there you go, backpack crab. Soft backs, but uh, the peelers are a bit different. I'll show you how to do that later. I peel the shells and do them in more or less the same way, but keep them in packs of five. So these are the crab I'll use first, really. I'll use these for hounds. And they go back into your freezer. Right, okay, we can see one of the peeler crabs here, the back's lifted, so he's now ready to peel. So, what I do is remove the feet. Remove his uh, mouth. Remove his tail. Remove his lower body. Pop him out of his top shell. Remove the side shells. Remove some of his rest of his legs. Just just take them off. Remove his mouth, which is that bit. And then take his lungs out. And then remove the hard shell that's in that area. If there's any shell or lung, get it out of that. Same with the other side. If you actually take the shell, you can pull the lung out complete with the shell as well. Or you can use scissors if you want. Push his tail back up. Now what I'll do with him, I'll place him in the freezer again for 10 minutes to take the moisture out of him. And then again I'll backpack him. So again they'll just sit in the freezer on a plastic bag like that for 10 minutes till the moisture just freezes up. I don't want to completely freeze them, just freeze the moisture up then I'll backpack them. So okay they've had uh, 10 minutes in the freezer now, just takes the moisture out of them. So they're not frozen, they're not solid, they're not freezer birds. For 10 minutes, again because we've only got two, I'm just going to put them in a backpack and backpack them now. Just lay them out in the backpack. Again, we'll backpack them. So there you go, they've been backpacked. We've got two in a pack at the moment. What I'll do, because I've hardly got any crab at the minute. I'll, well, I'll do a key in packs of five anyway. Makes it easier for me to use. Um, they'll just be cut open and put into another pack with another three. and That'll make me pack five up. But that's basically how we freeze them down. Another thing is still lasts for about a year when they're backpacked. These will still be here next January, still ready to use and still in prime condition.